guys, Dan here. Welcome to this video. Today I want to show you a plugin called Real Head Motion. Uh, coming from iRacing, I always felt like the camera on ACC was always a little bit shaky. And if you look at the footage from the game, it's always like either the cockpit, like the dashboard is fixed, or you have some weird uh, lock to horizon settings that I don't really like. And the track looks like really, really shaky. And to me, that's always just like how ACC have been and I went in this yeah, deal with it mode but uh, somebody from chat actually recommended to try out real head motion. So what is real head motion? It's actually a filter that simulates what your inner ear is doing. Uh, the inner ear and the muscles that move your eye are connected by a reflex called vestibulo-ocular reflex. And this reflex basically stabilizes our eyes, our, our view when we are doing head movements. Try it out, watch the video and, and shake your head like a little bit and you will, you will still be able to, to see the video clearly because let's call it a sensor <laughs> in our inner ear actually corrects the eye movement like without you even doing anything or thinking about it. It's like a reflex. That's uh, what reflexes are, right? It's kind of similar to a camera gimbal if you want to compare it to something from the tech world. And now you probably think like, okay, cool story, bro. Uh, but what does that actually have to do with sim racing? So when you sit in a real car, this reflex actually makes you see the track ahead of you super clearly because your eyes are always like focused on the track and that reflex will make you not lose focus. It won't shake when you drive over a bump or, or a curb or something. And you will always be able to see the track very clearly. And the problem with sim racing is you don't have the body movement, so your inner ear cannot compensate the uh, bumps you're driving over. And if there's like no software correction, like an ACC, then it will just be a little bit shaky. When I use the, the built-in ACC filters, like that movement or lock to horizon, I never really got to a point where I really liked it. I mean, I'm coming from iRacing and I always just preferred the look of iRacing, like in terms of the movement of the cockpit and track over the one that I could achieve on ACC. So yeah, this always just felt a little bit weird, a little bit wrong to me, but honestly, I got used to it. But I think with real head motion, you can get it much nicer looking. So I'm not trying to tell you in this video, hey, uh, what ACC is doing is bad. You should really start hating it now if you didn't before. If it works for you, just ignore this video or try it out and see if you like it better. But yeah, it's, it's a very subjective thing. I see many ACC streamers like without any movement of the camera like at all. Um, I find that a little bit hard to watch because, like I said, it's very, very, very shaky. But yeah, to battle this shakiness is where a real head motion comes into play. I don't exactly know how it works. I guess it uses the telemetry from the sim to basically simulate this inner ear reflex for your eyes. And it just smooths out the view. You can see the track clearer um, and it feels more similar to other sims, I would say. So thanks a lot to the developer Sebastian for releasing this. Um, it was an app for Assetto Corsa and somebody... Wally M ported it over to ACC, so if you like the software, consider donating to the developers that developed the app and ported it over to ACC. So the installation is very simple. You download the zip from the forum. You need to be logged in, but you can just log in with your Steam account. And then you unzip the file to a location of your choice. Next thing you need to do is you go to your documents folder in the ACC folder and then to config and open the camera setting.json. And you want to look for a setting that is called enable track IR and you want to set this to one. Save the file, uh, close it and don't worry about the track IR. Track IR is a head tracking device, but you don't need the hardware for this to work. I assume the software is using the interface from track IR to actually like move the camera and give you that smoother view. Next thing you want to do is go to the in-game settings when you are in the car. So you just go to escape, view settings and make sure that lock to horizon and look with wheel is set to 0%. And this is all you have to do to set up real head motion for ACC. All right, next thing you do is uh, go to the folder where you unzip the file. Um, on first run, I had to run it as administrator, so it generates this XML file um, because it didn't have right access to the folder before. So I had to run it as administrator once, and after that, it, it, I can just run it regularly. So do that, run as administrator, yes. And you will see that ACC is booting up because I already made some setting changes. So when you started, this is what you see. And I checked run ACC when RHM starts. So that way I can just start real head motion instead of ACC. And uh, I won't forget to start this app actually because both apps need to be running ACC and real head motion for ACC. So if you do it like this, you will always make sure that you start ACC via this tool and then everything will be running. So let's just hop into the car here really quickly. And I will show you what the sliders are doing. 
So if you set up everything correctly, you can try copying my settings. This is uh, what I like. It's basically just using a little bit of a pitch filter and a roll filter. And you will see the effect immediately. Let's have a quick look at the side-by-side -side comparison between real head motion enabled and real head motion disabled. So you can really see directly the difference between the two settings. Alright, I think it's it's much smoother. I personally love it. Um, give it a try. I find it easier to drive like this. And another nice effect if you're a streamer is if the track shakes less, the encoder has an easier task and your stream will look a little bit better. But uh, yeah, it's only interesting for streamers. But yeah, let's quickly talk about the sliders we have here in game. So let's hop into the car. So um, pitch filter, roll filter is basically what, what stabilizes the view. So play around with them a little bit I can I can recommend these settings um, it feels like really really nice and stable without being too crazy on the stabilization but yeah try extreme values here and see if you like it or not and then we have the steer look ahead I personally think this is super confusing because because I don't know it's just like try it out set it to some extreme values and when you when you steer into the corners, you will see what the car is doing now. I personally don't like don't like it. Let's just call it the Delking filter. <laughs> if you if you haven't watched Delking yet, um, here here's the short clip. Super nice guy. You should definitely follow him on YouTube. Delking, uh, he he does this leaning into the <laughs> into the corners, which is kind of how this feels like. Um, definitely don't try extreme values here because I'll show you what that will do. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, super, super, super confu confusing. <laughs> but maybe, maybe you'll like you will like it when you have a little bit of it. I personally do not like it, but yeah, that's that's up to you, right? So the next two ones are angular velocity, slip angle. This is uh, basically filters when your car is sliding, it does different stuff. I don't think this is particularly useful for ACC. It's probably more like if you're drifting or something. It, this was made for the original Assetto Corsa. I think there is quite some drifting content for it. So maybe it's useful there. I don't know. And then the last one is acceleration G roll and acceleration G pitch. Like I said, the best thing is just just try them out and then you will immediately see what it's doing. So you can see here, when I accelerate now, it does a uh, little weird stuff like this head movement here and turns your, your head to the side. It's like if you if you just drove like 12 hours in a real car and your, your neck is like getting really weak, this is probably what your head would look like. But honestly, this is probably like, I don't know, I don't, I don't like these. I have these all turned off. And the only thing I use is pitch and roll, and that just gives me the smoother view that I prefer, that I know from, from other sims. But there's not really a best setting, like it's all super subjective, so try it out. Um, see if you like it, come up with your, with your best settings. You can try copying my values and use that as a starting point. I'm not saying these are like the best settings ever, because like I said, it's, it's like highly subjective, so... Just try it out and see if you like it or not. If you're really interested in what every filter is doing, there's a thread on the Assetto Corsa forums. I'll link it in the description below and every every single slider is explained what exactly it is doing. But yeah, that's actually it for the video already. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe hit that subscribe button, like the video. Always helps the video getting recognized and recommended for other people. And let me know in the comments down below if you like the app, which settings you like, maybe give me your, your settings to try out. And yeah, I hope to see you on track. I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.